here's our uh, big excitement on the ranch today. After our bonfire two nights ago, in honor of uh, Grandpa Fred Reed, who passed away, uh, we had a small rogue fire that blew a quarter of a mile downwind into this little patch of, um, at the base of these trees is a bunch of cow poop, dried, dried old cow poop, because the cows love to come here and hang out beneath all these trees. And so the little rogue fire, um, it took, you know, it kind of flared up about about as big as around, you know, maybe 15 square feet. And it flared up and it took uh, several cousins with the shovels and rakes and whatever hose and whatever we had in the back of our pickups. And they, um, anyway, they attacked it and, and put it out where they thought they put it out. They had dug deep and piled on dirt and water and whatever. And they'd, they'd really kicked it around and thought that they had it out cold. Well, here it is, two days later, and uh, we had a little fire spring up from that same spot and it got one it got three trees killed three trees and it threatened the eagle's nest and you can see the eagle's nest clear up there in the top of the tree right there and anyway it threatened the eagle nest tree but luckily it didn't get the eagle's nest um, but they're kind of disturbed a little bit I haven't seen the eagles flying around so they must be out chilling somewhere else um, oh there I see a tree off to the south of us and I see they're in a big tree off there to the south of us hanging out watching us Anyway, so uh, we got the fire, the local fire department, the volunteer firefighters came over and they've got two engines. Here's one engine right there. And the other engine is up filling up at the feedlot. I don't know if you can see it from here. It's clear up there at the feedlot where the main line is. You know what? So that means that they had to turn the pump on. I don't know if that pump was ready to be turned on or not, but I guess they turned it on just to get water uh, down here. Good thing there was water in the ditch so they could turn the pump on. Huh, interesting. Anyway, so the, the fire trucks have been filling up. The wind today is a horrible. It is the worst wind I swear I've seen in a long, long time. And the wind has just blown this bad all dang day long. It is really bad. And uh, as you can see over there, we've got um, in Cody's tractor. Um, pa Uncle Paul was in Cody's tractor, and apparently he he ripped off the valve stem of the tire because he was getting into the trees here and pulling trees out and stuff and ripped the valve stem off of his tractor tire and so Les Schwab had to come out and change his tractor tire right away. So that was great fun. And then we've got this other tractor here. All the other tractors are all hooked up to implements or off farming or something and so we only had the two tractors available. And so that was kind of crazy too. Anyway, so it looks like they about got it taken care of. They're just cleaning up some little wood here and there and getting the trees out of the way. That's sad because this is this was a great little grove of trees and they took out, you know, three big trees just now. And killed them all. So that is our excitement at the moment. As the guys work to get rid of the fire. I'm thankful for firefighters and for the help that they've done and the that was so good that they could come to the rescue and help take care of this fire because honestly the interesting thing is is that if this this with this bad of a wind and these trees some of them are just so old and have lots of dead wood on it you can see that if uh, the right spark had gone that way this whole grove of trees goes right up to my house like straight up that way is my house and it goes right up to it and so that yeah, would have been that would have been kind of scary but life is good we're okay everything's okay and the eagle's nest is saved okay so there it is cheers from the ranch happy firefighting <laughs> love you bye bye